Hello out there, this is Mrs. Anderson. Today we are going to conduct a little experiment on fats. We are trying to determine with these six foods, which of them have the higher fat contents. And the way we're gonna do that is we're actually gonna rub each food against the paper. We're gonna let it set overnight and then any moisture will go away and all that will remain is fat. And so, before we get into that, we already know that there are some fats that are considered healthier than others. If you are interested in learning any more about that, we've seen that in a previous video, go ahead and check out the nutrient series that talks all about fats. We also know that fats are super, super important for our body. It's not something that we wanna be like, oh, I don't need any fats, we need fat. Fat is useful to us for energy, fat is useful to us for our skin, fat is useful, necessary, in the cases of absorbing vitamins. So back to our experiment. One thing that's important is that whatever I do to this banana, I need to do the same thing to the chips. I need to do the same thing to the donuts. That's going to make it even all the way across. Okay. So before okay. I actually have the foods make contact with the paper, I want you to think for a minute, which foods do you think out of these six have higher fat contents? Okay, I want you to think about that. And then I want you just to kind of create a little ranking. Which food has the least, all the way up to which one has the most. So there's six of them. Your number one should be the one with the least amount of fat. Your number six should be the one with the most amount of fat. I'm gonna just take a couple chips. And I'm gonna rub them against. I've chosen five times as my swiping amount. So one, two, three, four, five. We're also going to do the veggie straws, which are technically the lower fat um, snack chip option. So we're rubbing five times, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, leave that on there. Okay, we're gonna do donuts. Now what I wanna do specifically with these donuts is um, I'm going to split it in half and I'm gonna do two different ways because I have a feeling that the frosting might um, do something a little different than the cake portion. So first we'll do the frosting, we'll do that on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm just gonna do the cake part. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we are going to let this all sit for 24 hours approximately, and we're gonna see once all the moisture evaporates, what we have left. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, so we have waited 24 hours. Overnight, we let any moisture evaporate. Now, all that's left behind are the fat remnants from the food when we scraped it against the paper. So let's take a look to see how our foods did. So we can see from the banana, there's no real fat left behind. Bananas don't really have a lot of fat in them. Butter is not surprising. You can see a pretty clear amount of fat left behind. It even went through the paper. Okay, cashews, there's a couple streaks you can see on there from the cashews. The donuts we did a little differently. Remember we had the frosting on one side and we had the cake portion on the other. And in both cases, you can see a pretty decent amount of fat left behind. The chips, the 30% and the full, they both had some fat streaks left behind. Okay, so I have rearranged the foods to represent the ranking from least amount of fat content all the way up to the highest amount of fat content according to their nutrition fact label, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna see did our experiment match what the nutrition facts label shows? For the most part, we can see a pretty clear progression of fat based on our cards. We see nothing here, we see a little bit here, increasing here, and then up to butter, right? Now the only one that's a little funny was our cashews. So one thing we need to consider when it comes to fat that's in our food, is it in the food innately? Like is it a part of the food? Or is it something that's added to the food during processing and cooking? For chips, for donuts, it's definitely added to that food, right? It's added in the mixture for the donuts, it's added into the oil that these things then cook in. And so it makes a lot of sense for these things to have a lot of oil showing on the outside. Whereas the cashews, their fat is part of the nut itself. These are roasted, so it's not necessarily cooked in oil. 
And so that means that the fat is coming from the nut, and that means that we can scrape some of it off from the outside, but there's probably some fat on the inside as well. And we know that to be true because there's actually 27 grams of fat within this package. So hopefully you learned a little something about the fat content in foods based on our little experiment. This is something you could easily do at home if you wanted to. And I hope you all have a great day.